Alex's at Warners Bay with Anton today and looking at a range of equipment. And today we're looking at what we would call a, a patient uh, transfer or um, what are some other things that people call this piece yeah, of equipment? Yeah, um, a, a return or yep. uh, obviously the, the Rometic is another yep. brand that does a very similar thing. Sometimes um, people call equipment often just by one of the most popular brand names. Yeah, yeah. Pivot maybe sometimes comes yep. into it. Um, but yeah, this is called the Drive Ambi Turn. Yep. So often occupational therapists or physiotherapists would look be looking at trialling and prescribing this piece of equipment for somebody that is able to pull themselves up from sitting, maintain a standing position while somebody then assists them to move around. These types of um, pieces of equipment became popular to uh, help people negate the manual handling risk of a pivot transfer. So pivot transfers of helping someone sort of heavily turn around, usually in a 90 degree position from one seated surface to another, still happen. However, they are a risky manual handling procedure. And if that's becoming quite a maximal assist, one person or two person um, assisting someone to do so, it's often safer for the carer, the support worker or workers as well as the person themselves um, of having a repeatable safe way of, of transferring. One of the important pieces that we like about these types of models from a, a clinician's perspective is that it maintains a lot of independence. The person's able to do a lot of the transfer, the standing, the pulling um, up and sitting back down themselves, which is wonderful. Um, some additional features from you? Yeah, not, not a whole lot to explain with this one. Um, obviously, you've got your your, uh, your leg blockers here. Um, they've got some, some angle adjustment to, to obviously move with the client as they're shifting. Um, brake system, which is self-explanatory. Um, and um, yeah, that's, yep. that's pretty much it. Um, safe working load of 150 kg. Yep. One of the additional things of being aware that we'll often be prescribing these in the home environment you know, and, and years previously, um, home care and um, NDIS and different funding schemes weren't as available for people for uh, prescribing more higher end equipment in the home. And these types of pieces were probably more used in uh, larger disability group homes or residential aged care facilities. The reason I bring that up is the flooring environment in institutions, not that I'd like to use that word, but, you know, hospitals, large environments are usually maybe if there is carpet, it's like this carpet here, it's quite thin or it's, you know, lino or something. So these wheels move quite well on that. In the home environment, clinically, for clinicians, OTs and physios, we're very look, very much looking at how's this going to interact on the home environment. Is there heavy carpet? What does that um, have at play with a manual handling risk? Is there a, a track or a step if this is Typically, this should only be used as the pivot, but if this is going to be moved a little bit, um, what's that moving across? Um, there's some real key characteristics to look at in the home environment. There are ways around that of some heavy um, rubber matting uh, that could go over a carpet rather than a carpet, you know, being totally ripped up and a different flooring being put in. So you can definitely put in you know, a large rubber mat over a heavy carpet, knowing that this is largely just used for a pivot transfer. Mm. Yeah. Should we do a demonstration? Yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. So again, we're just coming in. So one of the first risks is more just getting the person's foot up um, on the device, bringing it nice and close. Brakes can be on. I can then reach up. Sometimes people will have an issue with being able to reach forward, even though this doesn't look like much shoulder movement. Somebody could be living with rheumatoid arthritis or severe arthritis and that'd be hard. So they can start to sort of move themselves and shuffle themselves forward. Ideally, we want them reaching where it's comfortable for them to do a pull up. And that will vary depending on their torso length and arm length of what's the best position. So I'm gonna pull myself up here and I can get myself up into standing. Release the brakes. And then I could be moved to sit back down onto another surface. Sitting back down. 
and I was able to participate in that whole transfer myself, which is wonderful and yeah. also quite easy for you to move me around. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think very key point um, where sometimes we do hit snags, particularly in the home environment, is just that the, the flooring and the carpet um, and it puckering yeah. um, and, and can make it And that's almost... a key tip, knowing that you can look at some sort of rubber overlay um, to be yeah, clear or opaque, but often from our experience, a clear sort of large rubber overlay that's quite um, heavy mm. is able to negate that carpet risk in most environments. Anything to finish on? Not really. No. Wonderful. All good. Thanks so much. We'll see you in another video soon.